So cranes are cool, but have you ever wondered how did they get all the way up there? Cranes! Either you love them or you probably could care less about them. But one thing is for sure, and that is how important they've been for growing our cities and pretty much anything tall. But have you ever wondered how they got up there? I mean, it's not like they can just build themselves up to the top or something. WRONG! That is actually one of the methods that they use. This is called the external climbing method, and what it does is it takes pieces for its own structure and brings it up to the top, and from there it will tuck the new piece into the climbing frame. The climbing frame is pretty much just a mobile structure that can go up or down, and it sits just below the operator. So pretty much you got the climbing frame, you got the little operator guy, it takes a new piece up and it kind of puts it in there, they screw it in nice and tight, they can lift up the crane a little more, and then BAM! Crane's 10 feet taller. As you keep adding the pieces, the crane gets less and less stable, which means that over uh, 250 feet or so, you're going to start attaching the actual crane to the actual building. So. Yes. Another way it can be done is by pretty much building the building right from underneath it. This is called the internal climbing method and pretty much you place the crane right where the building is going to be and you start building the building around the crane. Building, 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 building. And when the crane can't reach anymore, it's got a hydraulic tube that pushes the crane up to the next level that it needs to be, and then construction workers build the floor pretty much right underneath the crane. Now the third method is also pretty obvious, but also probably the coolest. They simply just, oh I don't know, fly the sucker in with a helicopter. A massive helicopter called the Sky Crane flies in pieces of the new crane, and as it's dropped off, the construction workers build it from there. Alright, well that's cool, that's about how they do it and stuff. Wait, hold on though. How do they get them down? Well, the external climbing method, the first one that I talked about, is pretty self-explanatory. They just reverse the method. And also, same with the third example, the crane is then disassembled and the helicopter comes back to pick up the pieces. But the internal method is actually pretty interesting. They essentially build another crane from pieces at the top when it's finished. From there, they then disassemble very large pieces of the main crane and lower them down to the ground. But then there's still another crane up there. Well, not to worry, you just disassemble the smaller crane and send the pieces down the construction elevator. Well guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something today. Uh, please ask me more questions, anything that you've been thinking about, any other, any question that you've got, I'm going to be here answering it for you. Feel free to drop the questions on the floor, I'll be picking them up all week. I'll see if I can get another episode in uh, next week. I know I've been a bit slow, but school has been just a lot of work. If you want to keep watching more exciting videos, feel free to subscribe. I'm Zach Kai, and you've been watching Zach Answers. Until next time.